Hi everybody. So today's my day two of my Facebook Live challenge. I am doing this through my laptop because that's where my challenge lies. I find that talking through a cell phone, uh, walking around doing stuff is super easy. Feels like I'm talking to somebody right next to me. But when I'm talking on my laptop, I see this big screen with my big face on it. So that's more intimidating and it feels like I'm talking to myself in a mirror. I see every little detail about myself. So hey, this is the whole idea is to push myself outside of my boundaries um, because eventually I'd like to offer you things via Facebook Live and trainings and stuff. Uh, whether you're interested in life coaching or you're interested in social media, whatever it might be. So that's another subject. But for now, I'm hosting this live in my dance studio. It's been uh, actually, it's a dance slash fitness studio now because when I started to teach the Egyptian style belly dance, it was taught, like I said, in my living room. There was three people that very much wanted me to teach them and I had no interest, but we did that. Then it grew into um, an office room we had downstairs and then it grew bigger. And so we ended up um, trying to find the English words. We busted down a wall and combined two bedrooms, like an office and a bedroom, into a dance space with mirror on the wall, the whole, the whole deal. Then it grew a bit more, so now we kicked out, my husband offered his garage, but we like to say that the wife kicked the husband out of the garage. So this was the attached um, double car garage that we converted into a dance studio. Um, mirrors on the wall. Hi Luna, how are you? I miss you girl. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, oh, and anybody who's watching live, could you comment live? And if you watch the replay, could you comment replay? Just to give me a feel of who's watching. I know I didn't announce it. It's just challenging myself outside of my timid bubble and try to talk to a screen and realize that I'm talking to people. So yeah, this was the, uh, the dance studio. This was the last phase of the growing of the uh, belly dance business that I had for about a decade. And this is where one of the girls that I trained to become a teacher, she still teaches in here. This is uh, where the girls still train and they've, they've made their own little troupe. And so it's still a dance studio. There's pictures of me in the back of my belly dance days. And on the wall in front of me, there's pictures of me of my new face, my eccentrics face. So I teach eccentrics in the studio as well, three times a week. Uh, we have the uh, more relaxed, eccentrics that's more for healing and then we have the uh, oh luna and we have the um more toning uh athletes love this one they feel like they're working out but you're you're everything you do in eccentrics you're rebalancing your body no matter if you're doing it relaxed or if you're doing it with tension um you're gaining flexibility you're gaining strength and you're preventing injury while also gaining energy in your movement. Like say you're a football player and you need to take off real fast or change direction real fast. Or you're a martial artist that needs strength in the flexibility so that when you do a high kick, you can do it with strength and not just momentum. Um, if you have say fibromyalgia or arthritis, eccentrics is also really great for that. It'll rebalance, decompress the joints, rebalance the muscles, the fascia needs to be worked. Uh, fascia tends to get hard as a word or dry or less flexible. And that's where we start to get pain and stiffness. And we feel like, oh, we're aging, it's normal. And I can't lift my shoulder or I can't lift my arm anymore. No, it's not normal. Um, it's because if you don't use it, you lose it. If you're big into like CrossFit, that's wonderful. Um, you're doing great but you're also damaging things or causing imbalances that you might wanna do eccentrics combined with your CrossFit to rebalance so you can continue to do what you enjoy. So eccentrics is a big thing for um, balancing your body, body at a cellular level. And so you can continue to do all those awesome sports or full contact sports or dance, whatever it is you enjoy doing so you can keep doing it for the rest of your life and that you can keep up with your grandkids, keep up with your kids. Um, so that's my big rant on eccentrics. I had not planned to talk about that at all, but I guess it's because I'm in my studio. So 
I'm going to end this. I don't want to make it too long. I just want to say whether you celebrate Christmas or not, I hope that the last few days have been spent with people that you love, that you felt loved, that you felt safe, that you felt cherished. Um, and if you're alone and you spent it with maybe your 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 pets, your puppies, your kitties, um, I hope you still felt loved. Um, even when we feel alone, we're not really alone. Um, so I'm I'm sending virtual hugs to everybody. I love and appreciate every one of you. Um, thank you for following. Thank you for being part of my journey on the blog. Thank you for being part of my journey on eccentrics. I am officially done my day job and now I'm just going to work on, on growing my eccentrics business and on growing my blog business and, and the whole idea is to help people help themselves, uh, live a healthy, happy, successful life. And that's, that, that's the whole idea be behind the blog name of authenticity and simplicity. Uh, it reflects who I am. It reflects what I want to give to people. And I'm going to try to do this again tomorrow because I said I would do it for seven days. So I love you, Luna. Thank you for watching. I love you. Um, yeah, so please comment if you watched it live. I can't tell unless you click something. And if you're watching it um, on replay, please comment that you're watching it on replay. And now I'm going to go out with my husband and my daughter. And we're going to go watch Aquaman, and I'm going to stare at his six-pack. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Love you.